<laughs> uh, go see the doctor Friday. Yep. What'd he say? You know, the old good news, bad news routine. Give me the bad news first. Gotta quit smoking. And the good? I did. You quit smoking? Yep. Get out of here. I quit. Holy, you really quit? Yeah, I got the patch and I got this fake cigarette thing here. Man. Time is for real, man. Well, be strong, brother, be strong. Thanks. So that's Friday the weekend. So it's been like, what, three days? Hell no. Three hours. Quit this morning after breakfast. You son of a bitch. I don't know why I listen to you. Hey. Isn't that Reggie? Right, let's go. Yeah. Damn, I can't pull over. It's all right, just leave it here. Come on. Uh, leave this guy. Hey, Reggie. Yeah, yeah, let's get it over with. Hey. Whoa, 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 officer. Before we get started, let me just say the D's is not my pants. All right, yeah. let's go. Whose pants are they? My pants was in the cleaner. Yeah. So I borrowed these from Ramon. Oh, so Ramon yeah. owns the okay. pants yeah. and the do-rag. Right. Okay. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Get out of here, no, sir. NYPD. What's the deal, Yakko? I have fair. Yeah, yeah, I have bad, I have bad guy, okay? I have fair, very important. Oh, yeah? Well, this particular suspect happens to have a rap sheet that includes robbing guys like you, okay? So instead of honking your horn, maybe you should be thanking my ass for making the streets safer so you can go on soaking tourists by taking them from LaGuardia to downtown by way of Jersey City. What do you say to that? Wrong answer. Get out of the car. No. Get out of the car! I have friends! Ah! Oh. Get up. Get up. Stand up! Ah. Is he crazy? Nah, just quit smoking. Ruben. Nope. Shot a guy. Really? Yeah, he's pretty torn up about it, too. You kill him? No. What happened? Well, the guy's a suspect in a couple of robberies. They went over to pick him up. He pulled the knife, went after out with it. Ruben shot him. Self-defense. Yeah, no problem with that. You might want to talk to Ruben, Mike. He's feeling pretty bad about it. First shooting's the toughest kid. But, you know, you did the right thing. It happened so fast. This guy got by me, and I turned around, and I saw the knife. I shot him. I didn't want to, but he was inches away from Al. You had no choice, okay? There was blood everywhere. I was screaming, holding his butt. He was inches away from Al. We almost his, stabbed him. His butt? Yeah. You should have seen the face on Al. He was up against the wall. You and shot him in the ass? Yeah. You shot him? In the ass. Yeah. I feel bad. Well, I wouldn't feel too bad, because unless his head was up there at the time, I, I think he's gonna be okay. Come on. All right, guys, listen up. Ruben's feeling better, but you know, this has been a tough thing for him, and he'd uh, appreciate a little support. Mm -hmm. Back me Yeah. Bring your ass in here. Gotta hurry up before Ruben takes a shot at it. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> you want to explain that? Uh, well, we, uh, we, we were making an arrest, and uh, he was honking his horn a lot. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Let me call the mayor's office and see if I can get you a medal. Look, sir. Look, I don't care. You can't be doing that kind of stuff, McNeil. You know how many people taped your little act? Three. I can make a short film with all the angles I got. Well, uh, look, sir, I can promise you it's never going to happen again. That ain't going to cut it, son. You see, your good friend, the mayor, he has urged me very strongly to take a proactive stance on this before it all hits the fan. So, you got two choices. Two weeks unpaid suspension, or eight weeks of anger management classes starting today. You kidding? Hey, Ruben, you got a special visitor. Mom? Yeah, it's your mommy. 
day much. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing here? I have to talk to you. You could have called. No, you come with me. Ruben, how could you? How could I what? Did you shoot Miguel Alvarez? How did you hear about that? Has it been on the news? I can never go back to St. Michael's. What am I going to do? The church was my whole life. I don't understand. Miguel's mother is the choir director. I was going to sing my solo this Sunday, and now I can never show my face there again. Ma, he came at us with a knife. I didn't have a choice. I want you to go to the hospital and tell Miguel you're sorry. What? You have to apologize. It's the only way I can go back. Ma, he's a criminal. You want me to apologize to him? Want me to look like a fool? Is that what you want? No. But if you don't apologize, you will deny me my salvation at the right hand of the Lord. Is that what you want? Okay, I think we should start. Uh, hi. Welcome to Anger Management. My name is Peter. <coughs> don't call me Pete. It really ticks me off. Uh, why don't we go around the room and uh, introduce ourselves? Hi. Yeah. Uh, I'm Mark. <laughs> I have a lot of problems with rage. Hi, Mark. You wrote on your card that you consider yourself a rageaholic. That's right. Okay, next. <clears throat> I, I'm Sue, and I hate everybody. I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you? I hate everybody. I'm Sue. <clears throat> and what do you do, Sue? I, um, work with ha hand handicapped children. I'm, uh, Paulie. And I hate my hair. Okay. Yes. I'm, uh, I'm actually uh, just here. I'm doing research. I'm a uh, uh, writer, and uh, I'm writing a book, a fictional book. Um, hey, I saw you on the news. No. He's a cop. He pulled this guy out of the window of a cab. I hate cab drivers. So do I. If you're in this country, you'll learn English, or you get the hell out. I mean, they should all die. <laughs> They should all bathe. Shut up! They should die, all of them. I, I would pull them out of the car, and uh, and I would just start wailing. You know? And I would punch them in the neck, punch them in the head, punch, bang, boom, boom. Oh God! No, I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need help. Just somebody help me. Some, just please. And what Mark <coughs> is doing here is very brave. He's he's recognized the power. His anger holds over him, and he's expressing the desire to purge it from his system. This is great, Mark. Let's give him a hand. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. This is my son, Ruben. This is Mrs. Alvarez. Hello. You know my son. I can't say that I know him. We've, uh, we've met. When you shot him? Yes. Let's leave these two young men alone to make their peace. I'm gonna be right outside, okay, if you need any. Okay. Uh. What are you doing here? My mother wants me to apologize for shooting you. <laughs> you gotta cut the apron strings, man. <laughs> you sorry you shot me, cop? No, yeah, you are. A real cop would've put a bullet in my spine. Paralyzed me. You aimed low. Susie. Look, man, I didn't want to kill you. I don't hear you apologizing. I'm sorry you forced me to shoot you. I didn't want to do it, but you threatened my partner, and if it happened again, I'd do the same thing. I'll take you up on that. I'm gonna come looking for you when I get out. Fine. Next time, I won't aim low. <laughs> I'm playing with you, man. It's cool. 
Come on, it's cool. It's all set. Nice meeting you. Okay, this is your anger pie. Each slice represents one major area of your life that you've damaged with your anger. Now, what names can we give these slices? Family. Excellent. Personality, Peter. Mike. <clears throat> Boysenberry. <laughs> Funny. Tell me a part of your life your anger has negatively affected. You know, I'm, I'm not really here to talk. I'm just here to listen and roll my eyes every couple of minutes. Can everyone hear the hostility mm. in yeah. Mike's voice? Yeah. I can. News bulletin, Mike. Nobody wants to be here. Right, Good. Can we go back to the pie now? No, 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 no. Not yet. Your problem, Mike, is you can't control your anger. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No. Yes. See, for instance, right now, I want to kick you in the balls so hard, you'll have to part your hair different just to hide them. <laughs> but I'm not. Hey. Mr. Attitude, if you don't want to be here, just get the hell out. You're not going to cry again, are you? Huh? What did you say? Don't. What did you say? Get up! You. Get don't. up! Come on, wise ass! Get don't up! Don't give in get your up. anger. Time out. No! Time out! Uh, could we, could we uh, talk about my hair now? You don't have any hair, moron. I beg your pardon? Open your eyes, bitch. This is your fault. You happy? No. Not happy. <laughs> now I'm happy. Hey. How was the class? Oh, awful. Grown men crying. About what? I don't know. There are women there, too. None of them are crying. Are the men gay? I don't think so. Besides, where is it written? If you're a gay guy, you get to cry whenever you want. Well, you know, gay men are more in touch with their feminine side. Maybe you should get more in touch with your feminine side. Honey, I don't have a feminine side, OK? I have a, a masculine side and then another masculine side. Come on, you don't ever feel soft or emotional. All right, this is beginning to sound a little bit too much like a tampon commercial for my taste. Oh, God, never mind. <clears throat> what? Nothing. What? You never talk to me about your feelings. My feelings? Yes. You want to talk about my feelings? Yes. OK. What are your feelings? My feelings, my feelings. Uh, in no particular order, I, love, there's that lust, uh, anger, uh, rage, total absolute rage with a side order of hostility. And then I already mentioned lust, so. Forget it, forget it. OK, forget I said anything. You know, I've never seen you cry. Uh, because I'm not gay? I... Do you cry? Oh, boy. Honey. You know, I... What the hell happened to you? You know? This is supposed to be a fun thing. You know? It's supposed to be like a little, uh, you know, sexual oasis where the two of us get together and we have a good time and have our laughs and, and enjoy ourselves. And now it's turned into this thing where you're, you know, asking about my feelings and do I cry. It's like I'm talking to my wife. And I already have a wife, so... I don't need another one. You know what I mean? What's wrong? Sexual oasis? I didn't say that. 
And if I did, did I say that? Power and control, avoiding responsibility, poor communication skills. Mike. Hey, do you mind if I uh, address the class before we get started? We started 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Well, I, uh, I just realized that uh, I said some things about Mark that were, uh, that were negative last time, and I'm sorry about that, and I apologize. Well, ah. Thanks, Mike. There might be hope for you yet. Yep. Oh, you bet. Okay. Uh, we were talking about the six main reasons people stay angry. They are... Yeah, Mike. Yeah, remember when I said the thing last time about I could control my anger? Yeah. I was wrong. I can't control it. <laughs> That's great, Mike. Wow. You were really making a breakthrough here. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. As I was saying. Mike. Yeah. I, see, I wish I could control it, but I just can't. I, um, I can't. Yeah. Um, it's, it's weird. It's like, uh, it's like I wish I wasn't about to say what I'm about to say to you, which is this. You suck. You guys all suck. This class sucks, and you can all kiss my white Irish ass. Okay. okay? Uh, look, you know, I I, I think we. I also wish I wasn't about to say this, but hey. shut up. Hey. Okay. Hey, no, you shut up too. Okay. You're a hairless one. You know what the problem is with the people in this class? Okay. You're all a bunch of self-indulgent whining airbags, and you think that coming in here three times a week is going to make you change. I got news for you. I ain't changing. Okay. I came in pissed off, and I'm leaving pissed off. Just like you. You came in bald. You're leaving bald. Okay, fatso. Hey. Ouch. It does hurt? All right, all right, oh, that's too bad. Yeah, you can you know? disrespect hey, me hey. in this room, but you I won't have you You have an amazing ability to just keep talking. Can I, can I say something? Not now. And if you want to talk about self-indulgence, yeah. mister, this here is the height of oh, self-indulgence. Really? Oh, yes, really? please. This really? is not mic management yeah. class now, all right? All right? Just shut up! Wow. Hey, wait a minute. Back off. Wait a minute. Hey, somebody want to help me here? I don't think so. Ah, what are you scared of a little girl? Hey, at least I'm not bald. Come here, Chumley. Yeah, it's me. I need some backup at the class. Yeah, the anger management class. Yeah. Sweetheart, I'm warning you. Alright, let's go! Hands off of me, cop! I'll kick your ass too! I work with handy young kids! Yeah, as if they don't have enough problems already. Come on! The class is called anger management. Yeah, why? Just asking. Now look, here's what we're gonna do, okay? You're gonna sign a form saying I completed the course, then you and I are never gonna see each other again. No way. I'm not starting anything. All right, Marky, I guess I'll be seeing you next week. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'll sign. That boy, Pete. I've often wondered how a, a man who knew he was going to die could stand here and say that he was the luckiest man in the world. But now I think I know how Lou Gehrig felt. This is, uh... You okay, Mike? Yeah, fine. I meant to drink. Yeah. Hey, what's happening? Hey. Looks like you've been pounding him pretty hard there, pal. Yeah, I had a rough day. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of sickness in the world, Mike. A lot of it. People we have to deal with, they don't care. That guy with the knife, he would have killed Al. Never giving it another thought. Are we right? And look at me. I shot the guy and I can't stop thinking about it. What's wrong with me? Maybe I shouldn't be a cop. No, no, man. No, no. That's exactly why you should be a cop. You know? Because, I mean, if, if you didn't think twice about it, you'd be no better than the guy that you shot. In the ass. I don't want you to forget that part. There's so much darkness. Where's the light in the world? Where's the joy? There's gotta be joy out there somewhere. I just wonder where. Yeah. See you later. I'll be right back. Okay.
Wow.